I did not expect to be jumping back into Adobe Project Neo, but you guys blew up the video I made about it, so I figure I've got to make a part two. I'm going to address some of the comments you guys had, and I'm also going to show you how I made this. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're back in Adobe Project Neo, and I'm going to create a new design. So I'm going to come up here and click Create New Design. Takes us to a, I guess I could say blank canvas, but it's not blank. We start with this rectangle and this like platform. Obviously, I don't want either of those, so I'm just going to delete them. And I think for today's video, I'm going to do a donut. For whatever reason, all these videos that I usually do just revolve around food. I feel like that says more about me, unfortunately, than not. Whatever, we're going to do that. I'm going to start with my tools on the left over here. So I've got a pre bunch of pre-made shapes, which actually I think helps and makes it easier for me anyways. We're going to start with the torus. We're just going to increase the size of this. I'm gonna come over here to my right tools and I'm gonna increase the hole size. Obviously for a donut, I think that's supposed to be a little bit more closed off. So we'll do it like that. And then I wanna make it a little bit deeper, right? So we'll pull that up. And I think that, I think that's a good base to a donut, right? I don't know, maybe we'll change it. For now, I think that's good. Let me, I can increase the top corner too. I can pull down the bottom corner as well. But I think for now that's looking good. So obviously we got the first part. I think that's, I mean, heck, that's already a donut, right? But it's got, it needs more things. So we'll start adding some color. The dough needs to be doughy, right? So we'll do some type of like brown. That'll work. Maybe something like that. Sure. I don't want it to be super shiny, right? Because it's donut. It's supposed to be bread. But I want it to be a little shiny just because, I don't know. Artistically, I think that'll look good. Sweet. Right now, it looks like a glazed donut, right? From Krispy Kreme, which is cool. But we can do more to it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it and paste it. So we'll move this one up. And let's change the color of this one to like a pink. It'll be like a strawberry donut. That looks good. Let's make this a little more shiny. Shiny. Yeah, a little unrealistic, but hey, we're just figuring this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just going to throw that down on top of this. Let's make the bottom shape a little more shallow. Maybe something like that. Yeah, let's pull this back up. All right, so this is looking donut-y, right? Maybe I need to inflate it a little bit more so it's like it kind of hangs over just a touch. Okay, that was easy. And maybe I need to make the top a little bit rounded. Oh, no, that's wrong. Okay, we'll do that. And then the bottom. Okay, I think that's good right there. All right, so this is looking donut -y. What I will say, I feel like it looks a little too flat on some of the edges so let's go back to this first donut and let's change the bottom corner to be more rounded yeah i think that's right and then maybe we got to do the same thing to this top layer no that didn't feel right either maybe something like that maybe that's feeling a little bit better all right for now i think this is good what i want to do next is i want to make it look kind of like it's dripping a little bit so i'm going to use the blend tool i showed this in my last video i'll grab the sphere and i'll just pull over here and i want the same color as this so i'll just grab the hex code from the icing and i'll paste that onto here okay all right so i'm going to move this into place place so this is where you can see i'm i'm a novice i am still learning this I, I got a lot of comments in my last video really making sure i knew that i was a novice and if i was a pro i would be using blender or maya or or whatever so i hear you loud and clear i don't know if the 3d community is super welcoming yet with open arms but here i am a designer trying to just dabble and play with this so give me some patience we're just playing around here all right so i want to do blending but here's the problem it looks like it's blending the bottom as well so i'm going to take this and just move it for now i don't know if that's like the right thing to do but that's just what we're gonna do now because that's that's how i have to do it that's how my mind is gonna work so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these little spheres and just start throwing them i'll copy paste and i'll just start moving them around this icing that way it starts like blending so i'm just gonna take these copy and paste it and i'm just gonna do this around the rim of this i'll probably fast forward this part but i want you guys to see what i'm doing just want it to look like you know it's like dipping throughout the donut so yeah let me fast forward that get this through and then we'll come back Okay, so I got all these little blobs uh, blended in through here. So it should look like icing dripping, right? I, I mean, I think I, it does. So let's put this back where it goes. The only problem here is it looks like now that's like blending into there and that's not what I want. So I think if I cut this and then paste it, that seems to work. I can't tell you why, I have no idea why, but that seems to work. So I'm not gonna question it, I'm just going to go with it. Let's go back and change the color of this. Again, it's supposed to be like a brown, right? So something maybe a little darker than that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Look, and so now we have all this texture or all this, it looks like actual icing, which is perfect, exactly what I was going for. So what I think next to give it a little bit more character, a little bit more, you know, pizzazz, let's add some sprinkles. Let's see if we can do this in a way that's super simple. So again, I'm just gonna look 
from the top down this time because I don't know, that makes sense to me. This is kind of like vector illustration and I'm gonna use my pre-made shapes over here. So I have a shape called a capsule. So I'll just put that, so I'll just place that right here. And that is not, I mean, it's a sprinkle, right? But it's massive. So let's change that. Let's crack, grab my selection tool. Let's move it. Let's put it here. And let's see if we can significantly decrease this size because that's a little extreme. And I think it needs to be a little longer. And let's decrease the size just a little bit more. Okay. And let's pull it down. And I mean, heck, that's, that's a sprinkle to me. Let's make it a little bit more shiny. Yeah. And let's make it pure white. Right now it's like a gray. I mean, that's perfect. That looks just like a sprinkle. So now I'm gonna look from the top and I'm gonna take it, Command C, Command V, and we're just gonna start placing these bad boys all over this, right? And so if I'm looking from the top down, I'm hoping that this is actually putting them where I need them to go. Let's cross our fingers. I think it should be. But yeah, I'm just gonna start putting these all around here. Again, I'll probably fast forward this part and we'll come back once I've got these all placed. All right, I've got all my sprinkles laid out. I think I could probably spend a little bit more time, you know, getting these in better spots, but for the sake of this video, I think this is good. I do want to add a little bit of variety to the color of these sprinkles. Maybe we can have like some chocolate in there so I can try to play with that and see if that adds a little bit. The more I look at this, I think I might want to change those brown ones to like more pinkish red. So something like that, I think that could be fun. All right, sweet, I think that looks good. I really like that actually. I think that's a good color palette. I think it's a good ratio between pink and white. So we'll stick with that. So now what I wanna do is I wanna have a little bit more fun with it. I want to add a bite, obviously. I think that just creates a little bit more dynamicness to it, if that's even a word, dynamicness. So let's maybe like right, I, I wanna see that drip still. So maybe somewhere like right here would be good. I'm gonna grab my star tool. If you watched my last video, this is exactly how I did this too. So I feel pretty confident in this. So I'm just gonna put the star right here and I wanna rotate it upright. So I don't want this many points, or I, I want more points actually. So we're gonna do, I don't know, we'll start with 30. This is where I just kinda like play with it, just kinda figure it out. So let's increase the size a little bit. I don't want it super round. So let's increase my corners. That gives it a little bit more of that like rounded feel. I think I have maybe too many points. So let's back that down a little bit, maybe to something like 14 and let's increase the corners maybe something like that yeah I think that works let's rotate this guy all right so we're gonna put this right in between here I believe this is yep I think that's right and then I'm gonna come over to my properties and I'm going to select carve and so now you see what's going on here it looks like you know a big chunk is being taken out of this which is what we want so let me play with this a little bit make sure we get the angle just right so I might need to extend that a little bit and then I can pull this back a little bit and I, I think it's a little too wide so let me pull it in just a touch let me lift it up just a tad. And what I wanna do is I actually want this to be the same color as the donut because you should see the dough coming from underneath. So I'm gonna take that hex code and I'm going to apply it to the bite and that should make it the same color as the dough. And I think it should be a little lighter, right? Cause that's the inside of the dough. So now if we look at it, it looks like there's a bite being taken, which is exactly what I want. I don't like how this is, what this is doing to my sprinkles. So I'm actually gonna move those. Yeah, I think that's good. And I might actually just delete this one all together. All right, sweet, this is looking good. I like this. I realize I really don't like this ugly green in the background, so let's change this to something a little bit more flattering. Maybe a blue, I think that's good contrast. All right, so if I do a quick 360, I feel like this is pretty good. Obviously, there's things missing in here, right? We don't have like shaders and textures and things like that. So we're missing a little bit of that realism maybe. But overall, I think this is pretty nice. So I can come over here. We talked about this a little bit in my last video, but we can do different styles. So I can do expressive, which I think is really cool. I think this looks like, you know, like Borderlands or something. It just adds a cool little expressive thing to it. What we can do too is we can come over here to pixel art and we can just look at that. That looks crazy, right? So maybe we'll increase that all the way up to like 256 pixels, but that's pretty cool. Honestly, I think realistic is the coolest one for this particular piece, but pretty cool. We can also come over here to download and we could do PNG, JPEG, SVG, or MP4. Now I got a ton of comments in the last video saying, can you export this as 3D files, you know, like .obj or whatever. And as of right now, that's not something it looks like we can do. I feel like surely they're gonna do that. That would completely change this. For a lot of you guys right now, I know until they add that, this feels useless, but you know, for 
for designers, this is actually pretty cool, but I would love to have some of that functionality in here. I didn't notice this last time, but there is an MP4 video option, which I think is pretty cool. So I can do a bunch of different styles. And so it's really nice being able to export this. I could actually export it with like a green background and green screen it, and then I can use that for video things. Again, it'd be nice if I could export this as a 3D model, but for now, that's not something we can do, but just something to call out. Now, I didn't really talk about this share panel either, but it, it, since we're in beta, it looks like it's not something Something I can do but it looks like there's gonna be a link which may be good for if you're doing web design maybe I can take this and put it as my hero that would be awesome there's a quick export to Adobe Illustrator which would be nice or Photoshop send to a print I'm not really sure what that means is does it mean like a 3d print or does it mean like I can print it on my ink printer I don't know yet there's a lot of things in here that still yet to come I think this turned out really nice we did this really quick we've got a nice little 3d donut obviously there's more things we could do to make it better this is a beta program. I know I already see the comments because I got a ton of them in the last video, but give it some slack, it's beta. And I don't think it's here to replace you 3D artists. I think this is something totally different. This is a way for designers and vector artists to be able to dabble in 3D. I think that's all it is. So it'll be okay, calm down. But yeah, I'm happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna export it, do some things with it, but just wanted to take another dive into Adobe Project Neo. Well guys, if you like this video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.